Assalamualaikum This is Mr. B I'm Inshallah in this video I will be going I will be bringing you on a short journey um, together with me to investigate about this plant the cassava okay or in Malay it's called uh, ubi, ubi kayu alright um, so the story is that uh, we had a stem cutting of the of the cassava which was thrown into this guava tree alright and uh, and it and it it somehow rooted itself and grew grew okay I'm gonna show you uh, closer to take a closer look of the plant okay so this is the guava tree okay and then as you can see here there is this tree here or plant I would say there's a cassava plant alright so you can uh, easily spot this plant with its uh, you know um, unique uh, five uh, five fingers uh, leaf okay and then uh, with a straight tall stem alright let's get closer okay so now we are a bit closer now so you can see this this leaves this unique leaf one two three four five okay uh, some people will call it the, the star shaped uh, leaf uh, similar to um, somewhat similar to the papaya okay and as I mentioned earlier the unique thing about this plant is that it has uh, this straight tall stem okay and the cassava or the ubi is actually not the stem but in fact is the root okay so we are gonna get much closer to the plant itself all right okay this is interesting all right so now we can actually see that that probably was the main stem the old stem that was thrown into this bush and uh, it went further in, it grew on under and, and interestingly is that we actually spotted younger cassavas growing about a meter away so in theory so in theory is that it must have crept underground okay until over there and now it start to grow up alright now let's take a closer look at the younger cassavas. Let's see, we have one here, alright, um, and that's two. Let's see if there are any more. Ah, okay, so this was probably one of the stem. They was thrown into this bush and all right awesome i've just pulled up and we've got this with roots amazing okay all right there's one discovery so because i found one of the stem with roots let's investigate a little bit further and see if we can find any more similar ones okay all right i've got one here mashallah okay awesome so we've got two cassavas okay these were like i say they were definitely the stem cut which was thrown into this bush because we probably thought that it could not grow anymore all right so how about this long one um, I can't seem to pull it out let's take a good look here and pull it up a little bit more uh, 
Oh, I knew you must have got stuck with some of the um, creepers. Alright, I can't pull this out, so there's probably one nice root there. I'm not gonna pull it out, but I will dig it up later. Let's continue checking. Alright, it's not growing. This one has got some leaves and again some roots. So let's see whether these all these can be saved. In case you are wondering how long this uh, stem has been left here, um, is that um, probably if I remember because of, because of COVID, so um, that would have been about three three months plus. Yeah. All right. Let's go on a little bit further. We're gonna get to that later on. Okay. Right. So that was the one with the big leaves. Okay. Let's. All right. So it's it's not actually. So it is not actually part of that bigger one on the right earlier but these are separate so as I mentioned earlier um, I eat, we initially was assuming that uh, because cassava is uh, is the is a underground um, stem alright uh, we were assuming that you would actually have crept from here all the way there okay but seems that with this short investigation, uh, yeah, they are actually uh, different, um, different um, plants. Okay, they are from different stems. All right, and it's just amazing that uh, the ones that I just pulled out, they are actually on their own, not even fully, um, you know, in the ground and they are able to produce some roots all right this is amazing um well high chance is because that they are under this guava tree so that they're in a way you know covered from the sun so hence the the, the stem didn't really dry out fully okay and um because it doesn't dry out fully so it's moist and so probably um, stems uh, start to grow from the end of the, um, the cuttings alright so now we're gonna pull out that one last one over here which I mentioned was slightly stuck to the ground alright so now I have um, four four cassava cuttings which have roots and what I'm gonna do now is we are gonna go to uh, another place and we're gonna bury it in the ground and yeah hopefully it will grow um, big and we can enjoy some um, you know fried cassavas in a few months time okay let's go